you're off to the land of Nod, you're probably off to have a pleasant night's sleep. Uh, it was Jonathan Swift who first used the phrase in connection with sleep. The land of Nod is uh, where you go when you have a snooze. And Rudyard Kipling spoke about it. And now today, everyone thinks of the land of Nod as this lovely little place where you slumber. Perhaps you pull the duvet up over your head and you're off to the land of Nod. In the Bible, though, the land of Nod is not a pleasant place. Not at all. Uh, yesterday we saw how Cain was the firstborn son of Adam and Eve, who instead of being the hoped for saviour, became a slayer, killing his brother Abel. Uh, you might remember when the Lord confronts Cain, Cain answers petulantly to the Lord. and He says, am I my brother's keeper? You can look at the video from yesterday. Uh, we will now pick up the story from verse 10. Here is what the Lord says back to Cain once he said, am I my brother's keeper? Genesis 4 from verse 10, the Lord said, what have you done? Listen, your brother's blood cries out to me from the ground. Now you are under a curse and driven from the ground, which opened its mouth to receive your brother's blood from your hand. When you work the ground, it will no longer yield its crops for you. You will be a restless wanderer on the earth. Verse 13, Cain said to the Lord, my punishment is more than I can bear. Today you are driving me from the land and I will be hidden from your presence. I will be a restless wanderer on the earth and whoever finds me will kill me. But the Lord said to him, not so, anyone who kills Cain will suffer vengeance seven times over. Then the Lord put a mark on Cain, so that no one who found him would kill him. So Cain went out from the Lord's presence and lived in the land of Nod, east of Eden. So Cain the murderer becomes Cain the restless wanderer. And off he wanders away from God, east of Eden, into the land of Nod. Uh, Nod is not about peaceful rest. Nod is about restless wandering. And that's the way sin's consequences are unpacked throughout the Bible. Sin leads to exile. It leads to scattering. It leads to dislocation and disconnection. It leads to a violent uprooting from your homeland. Sinners, and, and that's you and me, sinners are not at home. We are restless wanderers on the earth. Augustine was a, a, an African bishop of the 5th century, and he put out experience so well. He, he prayed this famous prayer. He said, Lord, you have made us for yourself, and our hearts are restless until they find their rest in you. In this world, we will always have restlessness. We are not at home while ever we are here east of Eden. But did you notice how the Lord puts a mark on Cain? He doesn't want people messing with Cain. He doesn't want Cain to have to suffer the consequences of his own sin. He loves the restless wanderers. He loves them so much that he says in, in Luke chapter 19, verse 10, I've come to seek and to save what is lost. Are you feeling lost? Our sin makes us dislocated, disconnected. It makes us feel like restless wanderers. Do you feel lost? Tell Jesus. On the cross, he suffered the vengeance that we deserve seven times over. But in return, he bestows on us forgiveness and peace 70 times, seven times over. Here is a God for lost people, for restless wanderers. He meets us in our lostness and he brings us home.